Well, I ask Maitri with reason because we are going to invite uh, the co-founder and the executive chairman, uh, Mr. Krishna Kumar Natarajan. Uh, uh, he uh, is Mr. Natarajan with us. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Uh, well, the first thing I wanted to ask you really is this quote of yours. You know, we will be optimistic and practical and hopefully we will arrive at a middle ground. Right now, there is nothing on offer. Uh, I just wanted to know what is this middle ground you are seeking? Lata, wonderful to be uh, in your session and good morning, uh, Sonia and Anuj. Uh, Clearly, Mindtree as an organization has always placed customers and Mindtree minds uh, on the top of the pedestal. So what we really intend to look forward to is that we'll do what is right for our customers, for Mindtree minds and shareholders. Uh, again, there is really no point in talking about the past and always as an organization, we have been aspirational and look at the future. That's where we believe there is an opportunity to look forward to something which can be worked out, which is in the interest of customers, Mindtree Minds, and our shareholders. Okay. Um, Mr. Natarajan, good morning and thank you for speaking with us. Ever since this deal came through, I'm sure you guys have been chatting with a lot of your big clients because that's the, uh, you know, the fear that the street has with LNT taking charge. There could be some risk to your client relationships, to your business, etc. What are the key clients saying at this point? I must say, Sonia, our clients are overwhelmingly supportive of the Mindtree management. Uh, we have received excellent support from our clients. Uh, they understand the situation, but at the same time, based on the excellent service we have delivered to them over long periods of time, clients are extremely supportive of us uh, and they look forward to it being solved. And essentially, I think uh, we have no concerns on the clients or the business at this point in time. Okay, uh, <coughs> Mr. Uh, Natarajan, uh, good morning. You know they say that hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. Uh, if LNT's uh, takeover does go through, uh, in the worst case scenario, I mean, for, uh, for, from your point of view, uh, what would be your next step? Again, Anuj, uh, like I mentioned in the earlier part of this chat. Uh, as a company, as a management team, and as a board, we are very clear we'll do what is right for our customers, what is right for Mindtree Minds and our shareholders. Uh, and we remain optimistic that in spite of whatever be the outcome of the process which has got initiated now, we can certainly find a solution which safeguards the interests of our customers, Mindtree Minds, and our shareholders. Okay. Well, I must tell you, uh, Mr. Krishnakumar, the reason why uh, Anuj asked that question is that is what is in the minds of a lot of people. What will you guys do? Because you all are uh, the trunk of this tree, as it were. And therefore, your next step will de uh, determine what investors uh, will decide uh, in terms of staying on or moving. Uh, so let me come to the next question that you have raised. Uh, and I quote you again. LNT should define independence. Now, what is... Uh, your definition of independence, what are you expecting from that management? So again, Latha, it might be difficult to sort of articulate that in a short interview like this. Uh, it, we obviously anticipate, yes, I think uh, the shareholding is going to change and uh, LNT is most likely going to be a shareholder of a company and that too uh, a reasonable size anywhere from 20 percent upwards uh, we always respect our shareholders and to that extent we believe when there is a change in shareholding there has to be a mutual discussion to understand the positioning of the company how we can create value in the future for our shareholders and work a common working model which then will deliver that value share to our shareholders. So again, I think uh, at this juncture, it may be too early to sort of work the specifics of it because at the process is just on. But 
All I want to live with it is, I think as an organization and as management and board, we are very committed to the idea that we'll do what is right for our customers, Mindtree Minds and our shareholders. Okay. Well, actually, I must say, Mr. Krishna Kumar, compared to your first press conference and now, uh, you are sounding a lot more clement and accepting of the situation. Uh, so should we say that uh, uh, we shouldn't see your exit? You know, that's what investors and clients want to know. You sound a little more reconciled. Again, uh, I think, Latha, sometimes I think humans are emotional and uh, emotions take precedence over what you do. But like I said, uh, in the past also, the organization and uh, management has always demonstrated a sense of practicality. So I think uh, we have sort of put that back. Uh, today we are very focused on ensuring that we are back to business, uh, working very strongly with our clients and Mindtree Minds to deliver the best for them. And it is business as usual. Okay, okay that's uh, good to hear. Uh, Mr. Natarajan, um, have you approached or been approached by any large IT company or player? I mean, you know, just simply asking you, can any IT company step in as a white knight? Again, Sonia, this is uh, sort of uh, speculation, so to that extent, uh, I would not want to comment on that. Okay. okay. Uh, you know, obviously it's uh, hindsight, but uh, anything you could have done uh, over the last two years, I mean, you, you had an opportunity, the promoters had an opportunity to shore up the stake. Uh, the promoter stake was very low after Mr. Suta left, and that stake was with, with Mr. Siddharth for a long time. Uh, uh, you think anything could have been done differently over the last two years? There was opportunity? Again, Anuj, as an organization, I think we always believe in sharing our learnings. Uh, in fact, if you look at the last uh, 10 years, between me and Shubrato, we have contributed so much in terms of our learning back to the entrepreneurship ecosystem. Certainly at an appropriate time, on this also, we will share our learnings. I think there are a number of learnings which uh, other entrepreneurs can really derive from this. Okay, we look forward to that. Uh, uh, Mr. Krishna Kumar, uh, uh, what are your investors, big investors telling you? I think we've received a tremendous level of support from our institutional investors. Uh, I think they've seen a credible management team which has built a high integrity, high performance company over the last 20 years. Uh, they have had very significant returns in partnering with us. So we are getting a tremendous support from our institutional investors. No, sir, I, what I meant was that uh, are they telling you now what has happened has happened, the sale uh, uh, of uh, Siddhartha shares is uh, over and done with, make peace and don't disturb the company. Is that the message you're getting? So again, to be fair, I think our institutional investors are very supportive. Uh, they clearly want an operating model where value of the stakeholders will get protected over the next few years. Uh, I don't think there's any suggestion or pressure from them to go one way or other. Uh, as an organization and as a management team and a board, we do believe we will do what is right for our customers employees as well as our shareholders. Okay. Uh, what is the next step now? We understand a panel has been formed to uh, weigh the pros and cons of this L&T offer. Uh, when is it likely to give its opinion and uh, which are the FI investors that are backing you right now? Uh, Sonia, again, uh, I think it's difficult to sort of state names uh, of people uh, who back because uh, in a way, it's their sort of personal uh, assessment of the situation. So it may not be appropriate for us to share names. Uh, but on the independent directors committee, uh, I think we've set a new standard in governance by making it a committee of all the independent directors. Uh, and that committee has now decided to seek external experts uh, who have not 
earlier work to the company to give them the right insights. Uh, based on an assessment of all the facts and uh, 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 information available to them, the committee will make its recommendation, if I recollect right, by the 10th of May. Okay, okay. So until April 16, we shouldn't expect anything because that is the kind of a deadline for competing offers and stuff like that, right? That's right. Okay. So I wanted to ask you another thing. You know, uh, we, just before, earlier in the morning, there was a, um, a, an investor and an analyst telling us that, uh, oh, it's a very good thing because L&T uh, Infotech is also a good company and in IT size matters, so together it will make a larger and a compelling proposition. He sounded positive. What is your thought? I mean, uh, L&T Info under Jalona has also created wealth and Mindtree under you uh, for a few has also created a lot of wealth. Uh, do you know anything about the culture of that company? Do you think that together it could mean a compelling proposition? No, our assessment, uh, Latha, is that size alone is not a differentiator in the way in which the IT services business is transitioning. Customers are again moving from what I call static services, uh, which used to be application management uh, maintenance to more dynamic services, which are more relating to the digital transformation. So the nature of the organizations and how you're genetically engineered to meet the new client requirements uh, are very different. Uh, I would not think that being a larger scale and size would help us win many opportunities. Again, even if you take Mindtree's example now, being a sub-billion dollar company, we only compete against companies which are at least 10 times, 20 times our size, and we win business, okay. which is reflecting in the strong growth mm. which you're demonstrating. No, no, no. I, I'm not saying that you, 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 you are not competitive. So I don't think size is a difference. No, no, I, I agree. I, I just thought if that will only add. Okay, just a final question. What all investors want to know, do you stay? See again, Latha, as an organization, we have never been individually driven. It okay. is certainly not about me as an individual. It's about our customers, our shareholders, and our employees. Uh, so I'd like to re-emphasize again that the board and the management is committed to doing what is right for our customers, shareholders, and Mindtree Minds. All right, uh, Mr. Natarajan, thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, we wish you all the best. Uh, uh, regardless of how this saga unfolds and of course uh, you know uh, uh, no one can take away the fact uh, that you, know, you yeah. have created a great company you along with the rest of the founders of Mindtree you have created a great company and uh, that of course is a fact that uh, cannot be taken away from you thanks a lot for joining us today and all the best I don't know if my reading is right thanks Anuj thanks Sonia thanks Lata yeah, okay. really a pleasure being uh, talking to you Okay. No, I think your reading is right. I <laughs> think my reading is you're sounding way more, uh, uh, you know, reconciled to the reality. No taking away from the great work they have done, mm -hmm. but uh, there is an offer and there is an event, and it looks like they are not going to disappoint their shareholders or clients, which is very good if they're going to stay on.